We are live here in the quarantine, quarantine, Coach Josh, training for Warriors Portland. And uh, we are uh, almost finished with April. We're coming down the pipe in the final leg. And the theme for April has been everyday heroes. And we've been telling stories about people who are just like you and me, rescuing people from uh, you know, uh, car accidents, um, uh, showing up and, and uh, giving blood, people. Uh, today's story was about a, a young man from India who, uh, during a factory fire, saved a bunch of people. But um, he did a lot of things that were pretty extraordinary and dangerous. And um, although I think those kinds of stories are fantastic, I definitely, I definitely want to point out the more, um, uh, uh, the, the sort of the greater theme of, of the everyday heroes and, um, and the things that we do on a daily basis and, and um, how we show up for other people. And, um, you know, in the context of this group, uh, all, when we asked for volunteers for uh, being a team captain for the quarantine challenge, we had so many people say, yes, I'll do it. And to be a team captain, as you know, if you are one of them, it's um, a lot of, it's a lot of uh, pressure and responsibility and keeping track of people and, and engaging with people and it's a lot of extra work and um, the only thanks that you get for it is well is a wireless five from um, the coaches and your teammates because um, in this environment we're not we're not physically together but um, we have so many people and I wanted to just give a special shout out to our team captains um, Sarah, Stila, Joji, Brenda, Catlin, Megan, uh, uh, A.A. Ron, yeah, uh, who? Jennifer Gossett. Jennifer Gossett. Yeah, thank you. Um, all of our team captains who, show, who showed up, and I should have had a list, um, all, all of our team captains who showed up and the, the people who volunteer to help um, the group and one another uh, on a daily basis. So we've got, you know, um, people who are volunteering to do uh, help help other warriors get logged into various things um, and do do a little bit of tech support work. We've got um, you know Chris supporting our warriors like that, and we've got Kyla making masks and uh, helping people out. Uh, and I know that there's a lot more going on than I've shouted out just here in, uh, in the last minute or two. But uh, those those little things add up to really uh, make people feel a part of something and also to uh, make everyone's life just a little bit easier and a little bit safer as we go through this, this entire pandemic experience. So uh, like, I think it's uh, you know, raising your hand and volunteering your time and energy to help somebody else out is pretty heroic too. So uh, that's, our, that's my story for the day on, on, on the, all the everyday heroes that we are surrounded by here at Training for Warriors. And uh, we're going to continue to, uh, to, to show up for one another and to grow and to push ourselves to be uh, and to, to, to live our values and to, and to bring forth the warrior within, not, not just physically, um, but also you know, mentally and um, spiritually too. So uh, without further ado, we're going to do the physical part of bringing forth the warrior within by getting this hurricane started. You're going to need a kettlebell and a mat today and maybe a couch to stretch on. We're going to get on the ground, and we've been talking about dogs and cats a lot, so get ready for a lot of animal-themed warm-ups. We're going to begin uh, with the four-point position, and we're going to start with some cat-cows. So I'm going to be here, and I'm going to arch my back. So I'm going to tilt my pelvis forward, arch, looking up, inhaling, exhale, chin to chest, pressing through the pinky, really rounding out that upper back. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, tilting that pelvis back, rounding out the back. Inhale. We're going to go a few times through this, maybe five. Five is a good number. Exhaling. And when you push through your pinkies, you're really allowing those shoulder blades to separate and that upper back to round out as much as it can. When you lift your chin and tilt your pelvis, you're also arching that back quite a bit. So you're, getting, you're letting that spine flex and extend, really waking it up. From here, 
we're going to go into the, uh, the fire hydrant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in that four point. I'm going to lift, pause, and I'm going to lift, pause. I'm going to do five reps on the right, trying to keep both elbows locked, trying to get that knee up to the same height as the hip and the ankle. Once I get to five, then I'm going to big, do big circles from the back to the front. Again, try not to bend my elbows. For once I do five circles, I'm going to go backwards. One, two, I'm drawing a big circle. That knee, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So I'm going to go lift, hold for one second, bring it back down, lift. Hold, bring it back down. Hopefully you can all imagine why this is called the fire hydrant. Don't need to describe it for you. Three, four, and five. And then you're going to be from the back to the front. Three, four, five, front to the back. Getting that big circle. Try not to let that elbow bend, Josh. Three, four, five. Ha! So we're still in the four point. We've done some cat cows, some uh, fire hydrants. Now we're going to do some bird dogs. And we're going to integrate the belly, the core, with our hips and, uh, and shoulders. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not trying to be arched too much. What I want to do is I want to flatten out the back a little bit. And then I'm going to extend my leg directly behind me. So I'm, I'm not trying to kick up into the air. Instead, I'm going to get long and I'm going to keep my spine neutral. That rib cage down, reaching the hand out. So I'm not rushing it. Just getting long, staying in control. It can be challenging to not hurry this one. If you do it well, you're going to feel it in your rib cage. You're going to feel it in your butt. Getting long as you try and keep that pelvis and core neutral as you go through this training. I'm going to do five on each side. Hiya! Ah. Then, still in the theme of the the animals, we're going to do the downward dog. And we're going to get in the plank here. I'm going to kick my hips into the air. My biceps are going to be by my ears. I'm tucking my elbows in, so I'm rotating those, that humerus in. I'm going to pedal with my butt in the air, doing this dance, trying to touch my heels to the floor. I'm going to do a dive bomb, look up at the sky, take a breath. Exhale, push back through, butt in the air. Pedal again. Tucking that elbow in, pushing through my pinkies. Dive bomb one more time, big breath. Exhale, going through. Yes. And then coming back to the plank, setting down that knee. Nice. Now that we got the blood pumping just a little bit, we're going to do a, uh, a really fun one. We're going to do a couch stretch with a little bit of rotation. So I'm going to take my foot, my left foot in this case, plant it, my knee on the ground, my uh, shoelaces are going to be on my couch behind me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate away from my down hip. So I'm going to reach high. If my left knee is down, I'm going to reach up high with my left hand. So I'm stretching that quad and that lat. And then I'm going to supinate my hand. So I'm like, I have a tray full of tea. And I'm serving it to all my friends, even the ones that are behind me. 
from rotating all the way back. Taking a breath. Whew. Maybe a second breath. Whew. Then bring, coming back to the beginning. So I'm going to switch legs. Drop that knee down. Ooh, this side's a little bit tighter. That's OK. That's why we're doing it. So I'm lifting up. So if my right knee is down, my right hand goes high in the air. Then I'm going to reach out my hand, serving T to all of my friends, even the ones behind me. Whoa. So I'm trying to squeeze that glute on my right side, open up that hip, oh, let that thoracic spine rotate as well. Ah, yes. So good. <laughs> Opening up those hips. Now we're going to do some lunges and some inchworms. We're going to get the heart rate up, get those legs fired up. So the Cossack lunge, I'm going to step out to the side. I'm going to drop into a lateral lunge. I'm going to pull my trail leg. I'm going to pull the toe up. So I'm going to drop down. Toe is going to come up towards my knee. And I'm stretching. Again, my chest doesn't continue to fall, just my hips. Standing back up, coming back over to the other side, dropping down. Chest stays up. Toes pull back. That's one. Ugh. Coming back again. That's two. You can see from the side, trying not to lean too much. Stepping out. Back, chest stays up, back stays straight. Ooh -wee. Three. So again, just going to go back and forth. We're going to do five per side. Oh, that's four. Opening up the hamstrings. Adductors. Ah, uh, yeah. That's five. Perfect. Now we're going to do some uh, inchworms. We'll integrate some push ups, maybe even. So I'm here, hips, hip width apart on my shoes. I'm going to walk out. Walk out. Lead with the butt. Walk back up. Touch my toes. We're going to go ahead and do 10 of these. Two. You can integrate a push up if you want to make it a little bit more challenging. Three. That's for the Sarah Carlsons and the Rebas of the world. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right. Excellent. So now we're getting that heart rate up. We we'll start warming up for our training today. The number one thing is every circuit for the 12 warrior days, it ends with your swings. If you if you're, have a kettlebell, it'll be a kettlebell swing. If you have a dumbbell, it'll be a dumbbell swing. So we're going to be doing a lot of swings today. We're going to warm up the hinge right now by doing our traditional pattern warm up. I'm here in front of the dumbbell or kettlebell. I'm going to reach back and touch it. Squeeze my glutes, drive up. I'm going to do 10 reps, just warming up that hinge pattern. The characteristics of the hinge pattern are just that the hip flexes more than the knee. So I'm tr flexing my knee to 20 degrees, maybe 30, but my hips are going to, to 90, right? Especially when I have to reach that far behind me. That's just for a stretch. 
for your second set, you're going to get over the kettlebell. And again, if you don't have any weights, you're just going to be doing squats while I'm going through this. 10 more reps. Keeping that chest up, my logo facing the ceiling. Four, five, squeezing those glutes. Exhaling on the way up. Being powerful with every rep. Really getting your brain to want to fire those muscles together. Once you've done those 10, then you're going to do a deadlift. So same hinge pattern, reaching back, picking up, setting down. Good. Driving the hips into the forearms. <sighs> trying to keep that spine a nice column. So I'm trying not to arch the back too much. Trying not to round it. Nice and neutral. Five, six. The pressure should be throughout all of your feet. So if you can squeeze the earth with your foot, that's great. I want you to feel the pressure in the heel, the ball of the pinky toe, and the ball of the big toe. If my hand is a foot. All right, so now we've warmed up the hinge pattern. So we're gonna do some swings. So we're gonna do just the first swing of, uh, of, your, of your kettlebell circuit. So what I mean by that is I'm going to pick, up, pick it up swing once and put it down because I want to practice and rehearse the, the first swing. And the first swing of the kettlebell uh, set starts with the kettlebell on the floor in front of you. Hips are back, so I have to reach out, touch that handle, tilt the kettlebell back, and then I'm going to pitch it, explode up, and set it right down back where I got it. Pick it up, explode. We're just doing that one swing at a time, practicing that form, how we pick up, put down the kettlebell. The reason we're doing this is to prevent some of the mistakes that I see where people, when they begin, they start with a pendulum. They're swinging out here. The hands are below the knees. Your, your hands will always be close to your groin when you're in the hinge position in your swing. So you're going to do that first swing 10 times as a prep and a practice. Now that you've got that setup ideal where you're exploding through that first rep, every set that you begin is going to be on point and powerful. If you find yourself with your toes up, leaning back, nine times out of 10, the best way to combat that is to allow that chest to lean forward so that you can counterbalance yourself by pushing through your whole foot instead of just your heels. You'll find that you're more centered, your abs engage more, you get more from every swing. Now, we're gonna do another set of 10 to finish this warm up, and then we're gonna go through the other exercises in our circuit. But right now, let's do 10 in a row with that kettlebell. One, two, three. So I'm breathing forcefully through parsed lips to help accentuate every rep. Exploding through, letting that kettlebell pull me over to get to 10. Awesome, so that will be the last exercise in every, every round. So the first round is just the 10. The second round is two push-ups and 10 swings. The third round is three bent rows two push-ups. It's like the 12 days of Christmas. It always walks back to the swing. So we'll do push-ups, bent rows, curtsy lunges. I'm going to demo them so you can warm it up together. We can warm it up together. But the two push-ups, you can do them from the couch. You can do them from the floor. If you want to make it harder, you can put your legs on the couch and do an incline push-up. That's fun. Squeeze your shoes together, knees together. One, two, but your feet and knees are going to be squeezed together. You're going to do two perfect push-ups, whether you're at an angle, on a countertop, or anything else. So don't be in a hurry. Just make them look good. The, the bent rows. So if you have your dumbbells, you're going to be pulling up heavy pants. So you're going to be squeezing your shoulder blades together, 
as your dumbbells come up your legs, up towards your belly, and then you're gonna end right here. It's like a low row with your dumbbell. If you have a kettlebell like I do today, I'm gonna grab my kettlebell, I'm gonna grip it like a steering wheel grip here, and then I'm going to pull it into my chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together, almost in the exact same humeral position that I was with my bent row. So you'll do three rows, two push-ups, back to the 10 swings. We're gonna do curtsy lunges, these are fun. So we're gonna go at an angle with the lunge. So I'm gonna be stepping back, I'll show you from the side. Stepping back, I'm taking almost like I'm gonna take a knee but I'm not gonna do it. Then come back to the other side, kick through. So I'm stepping out at a kind of, kind of a 45 degree angle backwards and getting as deep as I can with that lunge. We're gonna do four per side. So you can practice those right now. I'm a little tight, so this is a bit of a stretch, right? So you wanna, you're gonna go as deep as you can, making it feel good, not forcing anything. That works the side of the butt. Gotta get that side butt going. Kneeling overhead press. If you remember last week, you remember we discovered some really fun things to do from the kneeling position. So we're gonna try that here. I'm on my knees, I've got my dumbbells. So we're gonna do dumbbell overhead press, but you're gonna do it kneeling. I have a kettlebell, so I'll use that. So I'm here, squeezing my glutes, back is flat, everything is tight. Then, pressing overhead, I'm gonna do five reps. Three, keeping those glutes on, spreading those knees apart. Four, five, whew. Feel that in the butt and a core. So five overhead press, four curtsy lunges, three bent rows, two push-ups, and a partridge in a pear tree. The deadlift. So we're going to be hinging. If you have your dumbbells, you're just going to do a Romanian deadlift. If you have a kettlebell, you'll be doing a kettlebell deadlift. Butt back, driving the hips forward. I'm not touching the ground. If you're really flexible, you can touch the ground. That's okay. So we're gonna do six reps here. Practicing. That hinge pattern is gonna be nice and warmed up by now. No worries. Then you would go there to the overhead press and the lunges. Now, the alt leg V up. We're gonna do seven per side. We're on our backs. We're kicking up into the air. Shoulder blades are up off the ground. Touching the shoelaces, keeping those legs locked, stretching those hamstrings. We're gonna do seven per side for the warm up. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Now I'm awake. Now things are happening. We're going to the upright row next. So we're gonna do eight of these. So I'm gonna be standing tall. Locking out my legs, my glutes, pulling my weight into my chest. Elbows must lead, so I gotta lead with the elbows. If the wrists are in front, it means my shoulders don't have the mobility, so I wanna take it high, and again, it doesn't need to come higher than the chest. If you're really mobile, you might be able to get up to your collarbone. It's okay. If you're pulling it into you at the top to get some scapular retraction, but again, we're not forcing anything to happen. We're letting, we're letting the, the body tell us what it needs. Number nine, toe touches. So we're gonna do toe touches on the ground. Hip at a 90 degree angle here. Femur straight up, legs are out in front of me. One, two, three, four. I'm trying to touch my toes, trying not to bring them in. Oh, it's a hard one. Shoulder blades up off the ground. And then finally, speed skaters will be our last round. We'll do that. And the speed skater, it's like a curtsy lunge. It's a little bit more aggressive. We're gonna go more lateral, less backwards. So I always pretend like I've got a yoga mat here and I'm hopping over it. So I'm gonna hop and then hop to the side. Notice my sprint arms are working, keeping those 90 elbows at 90 degree, switching sides, going. We're gonna do 10 per side. Five. Six, six, seven, 
seven, eight, eight, nine. Yeah, so good. So upper and lower body exercises, we always work all the way down each time. So we're gonna attack this 10 warrior days and we're gonna go, we're gonna go for 22 minutes. So we've got plenty of time. I think we can finish it if we stay aggressive. Now, if you need to rest, you rest. So if you're somebody who's new to hurricanes, new, new to TFW, new to training, you might wanna give yourself 30 seconds, 45 seconds, as much time as you need when you begin to feel that fatigue. I will be taking periodic rest because I, uh, I really need this kind of training. We'll, we'll put it like that. Okay, so get your water, start your engines. We're beginning our circuit in three, two, one, and we're off. 10 swings, so you're beginning with 10 swings. All right. Put, turning my lats on. One, two, three. Locking out those hips. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was round one. So I did my ten swings. Now I'm going to start round two. So I'm going to do my push ups. I'm going to get my feet up on an elevated surface. Do two push ups. One, two. Now I have to go back to the swing. It's tempting to go on to number three. We're not gonna do that. So we gotta finish the second round by doing our 10 swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! Now, that was round two. Round three, we're doing our bent rows. So I'm gonna go right into that. One, two, three, push-ups, two push-ups. One, two, Whew. 10 swings again. So you can see things accumulate quickly. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ha. Round four, cursey lunges. So, I'm gonna move this to the side. One, two, three. And four, trying to touch that knee as close to the ground as I can. Three bent rows. Two, three. Push ups. One, two. All right, starting to get, starting to feel that fatigue build up. If you need a rest, take a rest. I'm feeling it. I'm also feeling good. So I'm gonna get back after it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ha. Woo five, round five, kneeling overhead press. So, we're taking the knee. Gonna stay high in the kneeling position, butts underneath me. Glutes are on. Pressing overhead. Two, three, four, five. Now I'm back to fours, which is the curtsy lunge. 
I'm gonna get really good at these, it looks like. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, three rows. One, two, three, two push ups. One, two, getting, that, getting those swings. So remember, challenge yourself. If you wanna do extra reps, you can. If you wanna do extra range of motion, you can. Coach Bootsy's over here doing one arm swings from one handed position. You can do what you like. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha. Now we're at the six deadlift phase. So, moving through. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, six. Five kneeling overhead press. Here, one, two, three, glutes on, rib cage down, four, five, whew, feeling that, four curtsy lunges, one, one, two, two, three, Three, four, four. Three bent rows. One, two, three. Don't forget to retract those scapula at the top. Two push ups. Again, make them look good. It's more important that they look good, they feel good, then you get them get through them fast. Squeeze those shoes together. Squeeze the knees together. 10 swings. Again, only the good reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, Josh is gonna grab some water. Come through around seven. Seven alt leg V ups. So I'm on the ground. I'm kicking up in the air. One, two. Three, four, five, shoulder blades up off the ground. Six, and seven. All right, back to the deadlift. So, always working on getting more from the exercise. Practice that breath, rib cage down, exhaling forcefully as I Push my hips forward. Two, three, four, five, six. Kneeling overhead press. My favorite, my new favorite. Coming back down. Glutes on, rib cage on. One, two, three, four. Five. So good. Four curtsy lunges. 
what the heck? I've got to wait here. Might as well use it. I'm trying to touch my knee to the ground on the backside. Not quite, but almost. That's two. That's three. That's four. Oh, three rows. One, two, three. Two push ups. One, two. Nice work, Heather. Going into your swings. Great job, Sarah. Great job, Selena. Kiss, crushing that cardio on a Monday morning. Nice work, Brenda. Burning it up. I know you love those stretches. I'm gonna do my 10 swings and get back after it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ha ha. Okay. Upright row, round eight. So I'm tall. Elbows are gonna lead. One, glutes are on, two. Legs are locked, three, four. Pulling it into my chest, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yeah, eight. Counting is hard. Okay. All leg V-ups. All leg V ups. <laughs> One, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. That was six. That was seven. <laughs> I lost track. Couldn't even count to myself. We're having a really hard time today. That's okay though. That's okay. It's about failing forward. Six reps on the deadlift. See if I can do this one. Six reps. Driving those hips forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. <sighs> Kneeling overhead press. One, two, three, four, five. Cursey lunges, four of them. With the weight. Making it look, making it, making it. Powerful. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Three bent rows. One. Two. Three. Two push ups. Feet and knees together. Squeeze the glutes. Everything is part of it. Making it sharp. That's right, Bob. Let's sharpen up. One, two. Ten swings. Ten swings, warriors. We've got plenty of time. We're going to get through all these reps, plus dessert. Of course. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we? Ten swings to finish out round eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Nine toe touches coming up next. Nine toe touches. Come back down. Ah. <sighs> 
toe touches. That's what I was doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, woohoo. Eight upright row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight upright row. Seven, all leg V ups. Moving those hips, using those abs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ha, just did seven, figured it out, six, deadlifts, butt back, chest up, driving the hips, two, three, four, five, six, Five, kneeling overhead press. Here we are. Glutes on. One. Rib cage down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Four curtsy lunges. Grabbing that weight. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, three, rat, three rat rows. One, two, three, two push ups. Feeling strong now. Now I'm warmed up. One, two, 10 swings, coming down the chute, almost time. Bring it on home, five minutes left, five and a half minutes left. 10 swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Ha. All right, final round. Round 10. Last set. Something to bring it on home. 10 speed skaters. So, we're going to hop. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! <laughs> nine toe touches. Grep always said, horse moves the fastest when he's going to the barn. We're, we're going to the barn. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine touches. Eight upright rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, alt leg V-ups. Alt leg V ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Six deadlifts. We're gonna bring it on in. Three minutes left of training. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really squeezing those glutes at the top. Five, kneeling overhead press. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Four curtsy lunges. Four curtsy lunges. One, two, three, four, three rows. One, two, three. Two push ups. Two minutes remaining. Halusa. That's right. Come on, Cassandra. Come on, Juliana. That's right, Warriors. Finish strong. Viviana, I know you love those push ups, T Rex. 10 swings. We're moving. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, yes. Oh, yeah. One minute remaining. So, continue to drive through your circuit at your own pace. Get to the finish line. For those of you who just need some extra loving, like Sarah, like Heather, don't forget about dessert. 20 squats. I want to see them. If you got your weight in front of you, why not add some weight? It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful day for it. 20 reps. <sighs> Two, three. For those squats, feet shoulder width apart, driving the hips forward, keeping that chest up. Everything is a unit. <sighs> Ha -ha. And then that is the game. That's our time for the circuit. You should be hydrating, getting your dessert in, 20 squats, 10 knee grabs. So, just 10 of these bad boys. One, two, three. When your shoulders hit the ground, that's one. Not your head. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha. Twenty swimmers. These make your neck and shoulders feel very good. It's all about building that posterior chain. Eyes are going to look 12 inches in front of me. Reaching out, fingers splayed. One. Hands don't touch the ground. Three. Four. Elbows towards the hip pockets. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Ha ha. That, that worked out. That was a, that was a very decent circuit. Whew. So. Warriors, warrior days. 
everyday heroes, superheroes. It's about showing up with what you got and uh, letting those little ripples, when you throw the pebble in the pond, letting, letting those ripples make waves. It doesn't have to be dramatic. You just have to start. You just have to do it. So thank you for showing up for me, for yourself, and for continuing to bring out the warrior within. Started. Did everybody get a chance to admire my new haircut? My Bootsy, my Bootsy derived haircut? You, uh, I'm, I'm set up. I'm, I'm, I've got she's set up her game. She used to be able to, you know, like do Deadpool face or Captain America. She wanted to. She was threatening. She oh, was threatening I totally, to I was totally buzz it into my head. Into the back of his head. But that probably would have ended her friendship. So uh. <laughs> I was expecting, I was expecting a lot more scarring emotionally and physically, but it worked out. It worked out.